All right, y'all, this is going to be a demo on how to do a butterfly venipuncture. If you need some notes on how to start a venipuncture procedure, you can watch my other video that I have on this channel that will describe how to apply the tourniquet, how to palpate the vein, and all the steps that happen up until the needle goes into the arm. The first step is removing the butterfly tubing from the packet. It will come in a little plastic sleeve, and you can just remove the tubing from that sleeve. Tightly screw the tube holder on the needle that has the rubber tip at the end of the tubing. You want to make sure that this isn't going to pop off just like that in the middle of your draw. Now you want to straighten the tubing. Hold the tube at one end and then use the other to pinch and pull. You can do this before or after you put the holder on. Now that your equipment is assembled, make sure you have your tubes ready in the order of draw. If you need help with remembering order of draw, I have a video on a good visual memorization tool for that. Remove the needle cap by grasping the needle at the base by the tubing and then pull on that tube that covers the needle. Now that your needle is uncovered, take a look at that bevel. The bevel will be on the side with this smooth surface on the wings. Shift the needle to the holes that you are going to use to insert it into the vein. I personally like to fold over one wing and hold them both at the same time, but you can also just hold one of the butterfly wings at a time. So go ahead and anchor that vein just like you usually would and enter into the vein at a 30 degree angle. Now the best part about a butterfly setup is that you will know right away if you hit that vein because you will get what is called a flash. And that's just when blood enters into that first little chamber in the needle. Because the butterfly tubing is full of air before you put a tube in, you need to take what's called a junk tube. That way when you go to fill your actual tubes, no air bubbles will get into your sample. Allow your final tube to finish filling completely and then you're pretty much going to do what you did with the regular vacutainer system. Release the tourniquet, remove the tube from the holder and gently invert it, and then you're going to take your gauze, shield the patient, and pull out that needle. Activate your safety device by pulling on the tubing and pushing up on that sleeve. The needle, tube, and holder can all go into the sharps container. Finally, take care of your patients like you normally would.